Welcome, I'm Crafty Marianne. Today we're going to unbox my new meat grinder that I received for Christmas just a couple days ago. My partner got it for me and one of the things I used to do back in school was I did a lot of charcuterie and I even did that in the jobs I've worked at before. And charcuterie is the preservation of foods. So there's lots of different aspects of charcuterie that we can get into. But first, let's start with our new piece of equipment. This is so exciting. All right, uh, manual. So I've got some pieces I recognize, some pieces I don't recognize. These right here are the metal cutters to cut through the meat. These are some of the blades and the push plates that the meat will be pushed through to be able to to, to be able to uh, get that grind you want. I do already have a five pound pork shoulder, a pork butt, that is um, cut up and, and still frozen at this point. Because when we go to do the grinding ourselves, we really want to have the meat as cold as possible because as you grind, you create more surface area and that surface area can lead to um, bacteria getting on it and growing, and we don't any, want anyone ever getting sick. That's one of the extruding pieces, because we make our ground beef, or pork, or chicken, or turkey, or venison, whatever you have that you're using. If you have your ground meat, you can keep it chilled back into the freezer or refrigerator to keep it. You really want it around 34 degrees Fahrenheit if possible. Here's more pieces to the extruder, which is what we use to slide the uh, natural casings on and it comes in three different sizes depending on the casing that you're using. These look like some really cool meat hooks but I'm not really sure maybe it's supposed to be a hands-off way to mix your herbs, seasonings, spices, and your meat at the same time. I believe this is to use up in the hopper to push the meat down through until it meets the auger which is this thinning screw on the inside, which will force the meat through the screens. All right. What are you doing up there? Come on. There you go. Quality control. He's, a, he's in charge of that. All right, now so here to the hopper. It just comes in two pieces. So this is okay. We got this. Got the hopper. This is where we put our our plates and our cutters on, and also for extrusion. I take this out. I don't want to drop it again. You can see the auger, and there's even lines on the inside of that to help keep it moving. This is set up, ready to go. It's all going to get washed first, don't worry. But as you see, as you can see, we have our plate, and we have our cutter, and then we have our auger. And that all fits together. Just like so. And this piece will attach to our, this piece will attach up to our machine. And this is the hopper that will go right on top. Now for the big part. Aha, yes. The instruction manual. Very important. This is, I don't know what this is. I'll look it up in a second. It's a patty making. 
patties. Just for making like ground beef patties. That'd be awesome. That'd, that'd be a huge sausage patty. Looks like they have a smaller one in here too. That's gonna be fun. There's that. And that's either the liners or the separators. All right, now for the last piece, which is the main piece. So beautiful. So one of the things I really do miss about living in Philly and going to school and, and working for Garces company was is the sausage making and the patty making and being in charge of all the different aspects of charcuterie. So this is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Wash and hand dry everything. You don't want to use anything but soap and water. And then if you, when you wash it, you want to go straight and dry it right away. Otherwise it can rust and have other bad things happen. So this is great. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining Crafty Marianne.